Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be doing more practice with set operations and universal sets. So this is problem three from section 1.2 in your free online discrete math textbook. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. So we're supposed to find examples that illustrate the fact that part A is, if A is a subset of B, so visually I'm gonna show this we have an A right here, and A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C, so B is inside C, then A is inside C. Well, can we see that visually? Yeah, A is right here, and that is certainly inside this C here. But we need to give examples using this specific universe. So I'm going to give a universe here we'll call it u all right and now we have nine elements to place here so we could just place them wherever we want one two three four five six seven eight and nine sure that works so in this specific case we can see that one in seven is in a but one in seven is also in b and one in seven is also in C. Um, and six is in B and C, but six is not in A. So this works. Now, usually when you set up these problems, you start by drawing those three Venn diagrams, kind of like the Olympic symbol, where you have them overlapping each other. But when you can interpret when you can interpret this statement off the cuff, which sometimes you might be able to, then I would draw the representation, if you can, according to how it's set up, according to how you can interpret it right from the get-go. So if you can already see that A is inside B is inside C is inside the universe, then draw it like that. If you already know that A and B are not intersecting, then draw them like that. All right, let's move on to part B. All right, so for part B, this says there are sets A and B such that A minus B doesn't equal B minus A. So first I wanna ask a question, does this work? Does this picture work for part B? Well, let's see if A minus B and B minus A are not the same. What is A minus B? Well, we start with A and we take away B. So what is A minus B? Well, if we start with A, which is one and seven, and we get rid of everything in B, but both one and seven are already in B, so I have to get rid of both of those. And so what am I left with? Well, I'm left with the empty set. So this is the empty set on the left side. And on the right-hand side, we have B minus A. So we take all of B and we get rid of A and we see what's left. That's the set containing two and six. So it turns out that this picture is consistent still with part A and part B. What about part C? Maybe we can get three for one. So if the universe is A union B, uh oh, that's already false with this picture. Um, a union B is definitely not the whole universe. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so this says right from the get-go that the universe is A union B. So I can split my universe into two sets, A and B. And they might be... So that means I can write my U as the intersection of A and B. So A, you, so what does it mean that the universe, so what does it mean that the universe is A union B? Well, that means that if I combine everything in A and combine everything in B, then I have my whole universe. So does that mean that I can split this up into A and B like this? Well, not quite, let me explain. It, this shows that A and B are disjoint. Which, by the way, if you add this feature, this picture would be true. But if we're just talking about 
the universe being a union B, then what that means is that the universe looks something like this. So in this case, we have two sets, A and B. The union of these two sets is the whole universe. But as you can see, A and B overlap. And in this picture, because if we're just given that the universe is A union B, then that doesn't necessarily mean that the intersection is non-empty. But this says specifically that the intersection is empty, which means that I can actually draw my universe by splitting this into two sets, A and B, that are disjoint, completely disjoint. But everything in A plus everything in B make up all of the universe. So it always follows then, if this is the setup, that A is just the universe minus B. Yeah, I would. if I want to get everything in here, I would just take everything in the universe and then I could just get rid of everything in B. So subtract B and then I'd be left with A. Now we have a specific universe, so let me write out the numbers. It doesn't really matter how we write this so long as we show that we have all nine elements in our universe and that everything in A is not in B, everything in B is not in A, and A union B is everything. Yeah, that looks good. And that's it. Thanks everyone and I'll see you all in the next video.